Hi guys, it's Amy with 804 Sycamore. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, then welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. And today's video is something I'm pretty excited about. Um, I'm hosting a secret garden luncheon this week. And I needed a bunch of vases for the centerpiece of my table design. And my teenage daughter goes through a couple of these gallon jars of pickle a month, no joke. Um, they're under five bucks at Sam's Club, so it's a really inexpensive snack. But then I'm left with this gallon jar, um, and it just seemed like maybe there's something really cool I could do with it. So um, I checked Pinterest, and people use these jars. They recycle them and use them in their pantry for grains and oats and beans and corn, things like that. Um, really cool uses. So that's one idea. But then I found this really cool product and I'm so excited to show you. I hope it, it sparks some creativity and inspiration for your own projects or maybe you'll just do what I'm doing. Um, but anyways, if you like this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you love DIY and decorating inspiration, please subscribe to my channel, hit the alert button so that you get updated whenever I post new videos. So let's get going on this project. Okay, so I'm just going to follow the instructions for the cellu clay. Um, this is the product that I'm using to create a really cool um, cement, pottery, um, ceramic look. And the instructions say one pound of cellu clay plus four cups of warm water. Um, I started out with some hot water because um, it's going to take a few seconds to measure out one pound of cellu clay. And I actually used every little bit of cellu clay on the pickle jar. Um, I could have put it on thinner, but for this video, I just used it all. Okay, so once you have it measured out, I just went through and I kind of broke up um, the larger chunks. Um, there's some thicker, heavier pieces, and I just wanted to make sure that they all dissolved nicely um, once I add the water. Um, it can be kind of dusty, so um, be aware of that. And I just slowly added the water, moved it around a little bit, um, and that's it. So after you do that, you just mix it by hand. Um, it's very organic, natural material, um, and you can really feel when it's mixed well and the water is evenly distributed. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna start with my pickle jar upside down. That way I can really line up the bottom. I don't wanna put soy clay on the bottom of my jar. Um, it, you can, you definitely can, and then you'll just need to apply all of it upside down. Um, but I'm doing a special feature at the top, so I'm leaving mine blank. And I also have, I put some extra water in my measuring cup because you'll notice that um, the soy clay starts to stick to your fingers as it begins to dry out. And with just a little bit of water it comes off and it's nice it's a nice way to also smooth it so I, you just grab a chunk of the clay um, place it right on the glass I did not remove the labels on the jar because um, the soy clay covers it perfectly there's no need to worry about anything else on the jar um, when you press it on there you can really feel the thickness um, and you can just kind of spread it and smush it to help cover your area um, along the bottom there, I did want to make sure that I, I was covering as close as I could. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because it won't be seen when the jar is flipped over. But you can really um, begin to apply the cellu clay and get a nice even layer um, at this point. Okay, so once you have your bottom portion pretty well set, you can just flip it over and start smushing it on. Now, I figured out, I've done a few of these, and I figured out the more cellu clay that I placed at a time, the easier it was, like the faster it went. First couple of vases I did, I started with real small amounts. I wasn't sure what I was doing. I didn't know how the material worked. So that's something to consider. Um, if you don't mind if it's a little bit more thick, just put on larger pieces. Um, 
and if you don't want to spend a lot of time making sure that it's perfectly smushed in a, in a similar layer, um, you really don't have to. Um, I, on my other vases, you'll see at the end of this video um, where I left kind of a natural organic edge, but this time I decided to do something kind of fun with the top. I kind of wanted to create a bit of a lip. Um, I think it's a nice way to finish it. And this is going to be a vase, and so flowers are gonna cover the very top, um, but I still think it gives that nice edge. It kind of creates um, the look of a piece of pottery or um, you know, a ceramic face. And so I'm just kind of creating a tube, and then really it's just about feel. So if you like pottery, if you like clay, um, if you like working with your hands, you might find this process really satisfying. If you're a perfectionist, you may not love this part too much, um, but you really just, you eye it, you can feel it, um, and I just really wanted to create something um, natural and organic. I wasn't looking for perfection. Um, you can also use water to smooth out the cellular clay at this point, but I like the lumpy bumpy look. Um, I kind of wanted it to look like a Mediterranean pot. Um, I I really like that look. And again, you can paint this stuff. You can leave it the, the natural neutral color, um, which is really nice if you like a lot of just um, neutrals and light colors. Um, and these are great vases to give away. You can recycle jam jars, pickle jars, spaghetti sauce jars, whatever you want, and create a really cool vase for pretty cheap. So. Um, I use a piece of wax paper to, for the drying portion um, of this project. And as you can see, the top, I just tried to get as even as I could, but now we just wait, wait for it to dry. Okay guys, and here are some of the finished faces. These are three sizes of pickle jars, and you can see how I left a natural um, uneven edge. I, I wanted that kind of vintage old world look. Um, th these are cracking a little bit but I love it. I just love the look and um, they create really cool interest on the vases for my tablescape. So um, I hope this video was inspiring and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if, if you'll try out Cellu Clay. Alright, thanks.